so I'm down in the basement. I had a couple of eBay questions to answer. One of the questions the people wanted to know. <laughs> hey, 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 I'm on vacation every single day because I love my occupation. Hey, 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 I'm on vacation. If you don't like your life, then you should go and change it. Whether or not the uh, stamps here, whoops, wrong way. Whether or not the stamps here could uh, produce letters that you could put into a scrapbook. So I came down here, took a picture of this stuff. You could probably hear Kevin, uh, Commonwealth Picker. I listen to him all the time. I'm obsessed. He's one of the best YouTubers ever. Um, but anyways, you probably hear him playing upstairs, maybe. But <laughs> he's not here with me. But anyways, I have been uh, taking photos of this. And then I had another item that I had to take photos of. I can put this back in the right tote so that my wife doesn't beat me up because she can't find it. And then I had this item here, the skateboard. I had to take pictures of it and um, get it. Did uh, they want guy wanted uh, pictures of how wide it was, pictures of the wheels and the trucks. So I got him pictures of that. I've learned that it's really good to answer the questions really quick when somebody messages you, uh, especially this time of year because, you know, time is of the essence. People want to buy this stuff for Christmas gifts, so I'm hoping that uh, the lady, she messaged me twice about that because we are closed uh, during the, uh, we're closed on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, so I just came to the store tonight to do some work. I've actually been working on uh, painting a cabinet so that I can put it out into the store. Um, but the, uh, the, the stuff, you know, people are really wanting to get stuff bought. We have been crazy. Today has been a little bit slower. Cyber Monday, it's really weird because we had fantastic sales on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. But Monday, we did about a hundred bucks, but we did a thousand dollars the past four days. Okay, guys, so I'm working on a little bit of a project here. It's a little cabinet. I picked it up for like next to nothing. And it's kind of dirty. So what I want to do is I want to paint it. I'm going to paint the outside of it. I'm going to leave the inside of it alone. <clears throat> but there is a lot of dirt and dust in here. So that's you can kind of hear. I'm getting kind of already getting kind of uh, congested. So I think there's some mold on this. I'm going to clean it off real good. And we're going to repaint it. I don't like the way it looks right now. It did have this little piece right here. It goes right there, but the bottom part broke off of it. But I think once I repaint that, it's going to look pretty cool on there. So let's get this wiped down, and we'll get ready to throw a coat of paint on there. Okay, so I got this pretty much cleaned off. The reason why I'm going to paint it, because I know some of you guys are like, oh, don't paint it. But it looks like some kind of rodent and has chewed on it here. And there's some chew marks there. And it's in pretty rough shape. So it needs to be repainted. What I'm going to do is take this door off, take those hinges off the door because I do not want to paint the hinges the same color. They'll be a different color. And um, I'm going to paint the door separate, paint the outside, and I'm not sure I might go on and paint the inside, paint the top as well. So I'm going to get working on that. And then we'll Okay, guys, so I have got the first coat of paint on this thing. And I did decide to paint the inside because, you know... I was looking at it, and I'm like, you know, I am not exactly sure what I'm going to do. I'm thinking about putting the, uh, uh, I'm thinking about putting the, uh, uh, door back on it, but I did notice that this door here is a little weak, that that's a little weak right there, so I don't know, I don't know. I've thought about maybe just leaving it like this and using it as a display inside the store to sell. I could always pitch the door. And I could use that as a little display cabinet to sell out of outside in the antique shop. I'm not sure. I'm going to go on and paint the door, but I might not. I might not go with the door on that because I really need something little to sell off of like that. These, man, I'm starting to get a lot of clothes in here and I need to get all of that photographed. I think I'm going to have to get uh, my wife. She's going to have to come in with me one day and probably we're going to figure out a way that she can get a lot of that photographed. There's a lot of money sitting right there. Um, I ended up going with the black on this because that other gray, I had to throw it away. I bought it on clearance at Walmart and it didn't work out. 
but I think this black is going to look pretty good. I'm actually going to paint the feet. If you've noticed on there that I haven't painted the feet yet, and I think they're going to get the black treatment as well. But I should have one more coat to put on that, and uh, then I'll be able to peel that off and probably have to do some touch-up because blue painter's tape, it just seems like it always leeches underneath of it. it Look, it's already coming unstuck. Okay, guys. Excuse me. It's like freaking midnight at the store, and I'm still up here. But I did get that little shelf done. I got it painted. Got it out here. Put the little piggy on it. And um, got it decorated up a little bit. I don't know if I really showed you guys this display case that came in the other day. I might have another video that I put in here. I think I filmed one, but I don't know where it's at. Um, of this really cool display case. I have no idea what that display case was for. If you kind of see there, they have these little clamps. And there's two of them, and they go all the way down to the bottom. This is a really cool, really old display case. It's absolutely freaking gorgeous. But the problem is, is that it opens from the bottom. And I have no idea. I have no idea how you can get in there. It looks like this piece of glass here has probably been replaced at some point. And that one's been replaced, but the wavy, there's some wavy glass there. Wavy glass there, but I'm thinking that might have been replaced. I'm not exactly sure. But it's an absolutely beautiful piece. I only paid 35 bucks for it. So, I love it. The piece on the front is, um, is wavy. The pieces on the side are wavy, and the piece on the top is wavy. I'm just not sure. I know, like, someone like John Jones is going to come along... And he's going to know exactly what it's for. So, John Jones, I am calling you out, my man. This is where you're going to shine. And you're going to tell me what that case was for. Um, but, yeah, I really like that. What do you guys think? If you like that, let me know. Give me a thumbs up. Um, it's late. I've been working. I've been back there talking to Shane, the Rise and Grind picker, and Dusty, Alabama picker. We've been working, taking pictures. I've been sorting through stuff. I'll go back there whenever that heater turns off, and I'll kind of show you guys how much room I've created and how much stuff that I've went through. It's pretty amazing. Okay, well, I've been cleaning back here a little bit. Got some stuff condensed down. Just got a little bit of a death pile left. <laughs> that whole tote there is full of, like, rusty gold, all Victorian curtain rod hangers and stuff. I've got to work through that. I pushed the table back to give me some more room. I emptied those three totes over there. I've got pictures of that stuff. Already taken one tote down to the basement. Then I've got this really cool uh, turbo base. This is awesome. Um, hopefully the CD player works. I have to bring a CD in. I'm going to test that out and see if it works. If it works, one of these are listed on eBay for like 200 bucks. So that'll be pretty cool. I've actually got some CDs out here. We'll go grab one. Okay, so we found a CD called Deeper 02. So we're going to see if this works. This would be a really cool score if it works. So let's see if this thing works. Where's the old play button at? Oh boy. This thing is about as complicated. I feel like an old man. I'm like, how do you get this to work, Sonny? There we go. There we go. It's spinning. There we go. I didn't want to get no copyright strike on that, but that actually looks like this is going to work. I tested the tape deck. The CD player works. Everything seems to be in good working order. It's in, it's in decent shape. Um, bring my light over here so you guys can kind of see it. There's no really big scratches on it. That could be a home run. I think I paid like three bucks for that at the auction. So that's going to be a wrap for tonight. I'm tired. And it is, let's see here. Um, it is 152. If you can see that right there, if it'll focus. It's 152, so I'm going to get out of here. You guys have a good night, and uh, hope you uh, hit the subscribe button. I hope you like the video. Good night, God bless, and keep on digging and keep on picking. I like everything about you.